Hello guys, welcome to Celebrity Lifestyle. So if this is your first time of stopping by you are very much welcome. To support this channel please kindly subscribe and share. Do not forget to hit on the notification bell so as to get our latest updates. So let get right into it guys. Selena Gomez has been a star since her early onsets on Barney and Friends. After transitioning to Disney and recording music, she sluggishly left her music group and embarked on a solo career that led her to record Spanish music. While she has entered mainstream success in the music assiduity, she no a entered important critical son. Now after the release of her Spanish languages, Selena has been nominated for her first Grammy at the Latin Grammys. Then's further information about it. Selena released her Spanish language reader back on March 12, 2021, it was her first reader since her last reader release in January 2020 release, rare. While she isn't a native Spanish speaker, she took the epidemic time to exercise her chops. With it, the super eminent single, was recorded, and earned her a nomination in the stylish short-form music videotape order. Selena spoke to Rolling Stone about how recording Spanish music gave her further confidence. With the Grammy nomination under her belt now, it goes to show getting outside your comfort zone truly helps for the better. She worked with a translator and a oral trainer during that period considerably. From that work, her Spanish reader has entered Critical Sun and her new nomination. Although it's a Spanish reader, it's easy to tell the emotion and ease in what Selena is portraying in her Spanish reader. After everything Selena Gomez has gone through in recent memory, a Grammy nomination was a long time coming up in the same order are On Amor Eterno by Mark Anthony, Riza Forte by Bayana System featuring Negao, Mew Huela by Fuel Fandango featuring Maria Ozalergo and Visceral by Fran, Carlos Du Complexo and Bibi Catano.